Merci pour Allah. May Allah bless you. Bismillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Brothers and sisters, one more time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My talk is not going to be more than 10 minutes because we have to go. Brothers and sisters, my first reminder this night is about something very serious and important that we remind each other every day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, in Surah Al Kahfi, Al Malu wal Banuna Zina Tul Hayati Dunya. Wealth and children are adornment of this life of this life that we are living of this worldly life wealth and children are adornment they are decoration they are the beauty of this worldly life why did you get married because i want allah to bless me with, ch with children why did you get married because i want allah to bless me with children children are gifts from allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, talking to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, we sent messengers before you and we gave them wives and children and family. Children. You see, when a person gets married, right? The first year, if the wife is not pregnant, his family gonna start asking, what's going on? Her family gonna start asking, are you okay? What's going on with, with you guys? What are you guys doing? What's going on? You, you have to go to the hospital, you have to see the doctor. Why? Because they want you to have children. That's why Zakaria alayhi salam, he got old. He got married, but subhanAllah, Allah tested him. It took him long to have a child. Until he got old, he was making dua. He did not give up. Because children are decorations of this worldly life. As Allah SWT said, If nada rabbahu nida'an khafiyya, qala rabbi inni wahana al-azmu minni, wa shta'ala al-rasu shayba, wa lam akun bidu'aika rabbi shakiyya. Oh Allah, I'm old, my hair is gray, my bones are weak, but Allah, I'm still looking for child. Allah bless me with a child. As Allah said, wa zakariya if nada rabbahu, rabbi la tadharni farda, wa anta khayru al-warithin, fa stajabna lahu wa wahabna lahu yahya, wa aslahna lahu zawjah. Children are decorations of this worldly life. They are the beauty. They are the adornment of this worldly life. If you understand where I'm going now. Now, brothers and sisters, let's give or remind each other, let's give some tips on how to raise our children in the West. Number one, count it for me, in the West. Number two, in United States. Number three, in New York. Number four, in the Bronx. How many? Four, if you are in the West, you know what I'm talking about. You are in the United States, you know what I'm talking about. You are in New York, you know what I'm talking about. You are in the Bronx, you know what I'm talking about. We are having children. We have children. But today I want to direct my talk to all the serious parents. I'm, I'm sorry to say, with all due respect. It hurts me to say, but I have to. I just want to talk to the serious parents. Those who are ready, who want to change things who want to fix their children, who are not leaving their children on the street, it is not late. My reminder to you, it is not late. You can still do it. So let's take some tips on how to raise these children, on how to bring them back on track for those of them who are not on the right path. Many parents are crying today because of the situation of the children. But believe me, some are trying their best and some are so negligent. So they, are, they don't even care. They don't know what's going on. And it hurts to say you see a father smiling. He knows what his child is doing and he's not trying his best. He doesn't care. And we are losing our children. We are losing our children. Just children, Allah will ask you when you die. Allah will ask you on how you raise these children. It's either you, you get up and do the right thing 
or you are responsible, in your grave you will be asked. And you have to prepare the answer to give Allah. Because many of us today, we give the children to the street. We don't care how they live. We don't care how they do their religion. We don't care. When this is wrong. So what are the tips? Maybe one or two today, and we continue because of the time. Number one. It is not late. It is not late. We still have time. And we have chance to fix things. My first advice to you all, to myself, and to you, my brothers and sisters, please, we are in the last 10 days of Ramadan. Let's make dua for our children. This is my first tip. Reminder. Make dua. Don't give up. Don't give up. They think they know, but they don't know. You know better than them. But because they think, you see, uh, sometimes maybe they know we are not from this country. They were born here. Okay? So sometimes they think we don't know. They think they know. But believe me, they don't. Most of them don't. You know what's, what will be better for them. But at this moment, they don't know. But what do you do? Be patient and make dua. My first tip, reminder, please make dua. Stop cursing your children, especially the mothers. One, two, your child, you curse him. Stop cursing them. Make dua for them. We need them. You keep cursing your children, they will go bad. Your tongue is very serious on them. So stop cursing your children and make dua for them. We are in the, in the last 10 days of Ramadan. Allah is listening to us. But as many people went to work, they didn't even sleep, but they are here because they are looking for something. And Allah knows what you want. Include your children in your heart. Include your children in your dua. Ask Allah to guide them. Brothers, we are losing our children. Ask Allah to guide them. Rabbi ja'alni muqeem as-sala wa min dhurriyyati rabbana wa taqabbal dua. Rabbi ja'alni muqeem as-sala wa min dhurriyyati rabbana wa taqabbal dua. Please, let's all read this dua. For those who want to record it, record it, please. I want you to be saying it in your sujood. Please. Rabbi ja'alni muqeem as-sala wa min dhurriyyati rabbana wa taqabbal dua. رب اجعلني مقيم الصلاة ومن ذريتي ربنا وتقبل دعاء رب اجعلني مقيم الصلاة ومن ذريتي ربنا وتقبل دعاء ومتان رب اجعلني مقيم الصلاة ومن ذريتي Rabbana wa taqabbal dua Please memorize this dua Say it inshallah in your sujur Ask Allah to guide them Please make dua Ask him to guide them Listen I said how to raise them in the yard In the In the west And number two in the United States Number three Number four Believe me We can still do it who raised Musa alayhi salam? Who? Who? How did he turn? He became what? It doesn't matter where you raise them. As long as you do the right thing. It doesn't matter. Listen. That surah, the surah that we just, he's reading right now, which we will continue, Surah Al-Qasas. Qalat imratu fir'aun la taqtulu. Asa an yanfana aw natakhidahu walada What did Fir'aun say in Surah Al-Shara? Qala alam nurabbika fina walidan walabidda fina min umuri kasinin wa fa'alta fa'alataka allati fa'alta wa anta min al-kafirin Qala fa'altuha idhan wa anna min al-dhalim Who raised Musa? Fir'aun But Fir'aun tend to be what? Musa tend to be what? A messenger He turned to be good It doesn't matter where you raised him just do the right thing and Allah is in control. So number one, please make dua. Don't give up. Stop cursing your children. Stop cursing them. You will see your life is done. You will never succeed. Why? Your own child? 
especially our mothers downstairs please you are listening to me for the sake of Allah stop cursing them we need them be patient with them I understand some of them don't listen but believe me you know better so please let's make dua for them so number one make dua for them tip number two and we pray please have time for your children please talk to your children we don't talk to them we don't and you know that's the truth you never have time to sit down and sit down what's going on how are you how was your day today how was school did you do your homework did you read your quran did you pray do you need anything what's bothering you do you do that you don't let them feel the love show them love show them that you care you care show them the concern let them know that the love because if you don't show them that love they will go there are many organizations online friends out there that those who will take, show them that they like them they understand their situation they can help them this is where they take their minds to because they don't get the love in the house so they visit some website some sites that you will never believe because they have some group of people those who are depressed those who are this they don't get parental care they don't get love so they get this organization they get this group of people who are helping them and by the time you realize your son will tell you i don't want to say it but you know what i'm going to say show them love bring them closer to you let them feel that yes you care about them sit down and look let them feel like they can talk to you about anything so when they go out whatever happened they will come and discuss with you be patient with them show them love please don't let them go like that without you talking to them 24 hours a day you go to work they go to school they don't even get time to see you no why this is destroying our children. It is destroying them. And it is causing us a lot. We are losing many children in the community. We don't want this to continue. So my dear brothers and sisters, sincere advice from the bottom of my heart. Please, number one, make dua for your children. Number two, show them love. Show your children love show them concern show them that you care talk to them understand them and inshallah it will be good we continue with tip number three inshallah tomorrow may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make things easy barakallahu feekum may allah fix our children for us may allah protect them for us may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them better than us wala hawla wala quwwata illa billah wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barikala abdika wa nabiyyika muhammadin wassalamu alaykum